What's up everybody? Moving on to our next example, we have to find the slope of the tangent for the function the square root of x plus 2 at an x value of 2. Now before continuing on this example, I'd highly recommend if you haven't already, review the videos for the previous section where we rationalize radicals in both the numerator and the denominator because we're going to have to do that in this example. You can click the link in the description box where the whole course is organized by section and just go to the previous section and review those videos if you haven't before continuing on this example. Now before getting into the algebra for this question, let's show it visually. So I took this function, the square root of x plus 2, and I graphed it here. It's basically the square root function shifted over by 2 to the left. Now we have to find the slope of the tangent at an x value of 2. And the tangent is going to be the line that just hits this point on the function and no other point. So it's a line that looks like that. So basically we have to find the slope of the tangent which is represented by that red line. So algebraically we're going to do it in two different ways like we did in the previous examples. So the first way is we're going to find the specific slope at the x value of 2. So we would use this formula for the slope of the tangent but instead of the a value we would just plug in 2 which is the x value that we're finding the slope of the tangent on. So f of 2 plus h, if we plug in 2 plus h for the x value, we'll have 2 plus h plus 2, and that would simplify to the square root of 4 plus h. So this f of 2 plus h is the square root of 4 plus h, and then f of 2, if we plug in 2 for x, we'd have the square root of 4, which is just 2. So we got f of 2 plus h minus f of 2, and this is still all over h. Now we can't plug in 0 for h because we still have this h in the denominator and we want to get rid of it. And the way you would get rid of it when you're dealing with square root functions is you have to rationalize the numerator here. So you would take the conjugate of the numerator which would be the square root of 4 plus h plus 2, so we switch that middle sign, all over the square root of 4 plus h plus 2. So it's like we're taking this expression and multiplying it by 1. And then simplifying that, when we multiply the numerators, we're multiplying a two-term expression by its conjugate. So as we mentioned when we did the uh, rationalizing radicals videos, when you're multiplying a expression by its conjugate, you just multiply the n terms. So the square root of 4 plus h times the square root of 4 plus h is just 4 plus h. The square root goes away. Then negative 2 times positive 2 is just negative 4. And then this h times the square root of 4 plus h plus 2, well, we just keep those separate. The h is one separate expression, and then the square root of 4 plus h plus 2 is another expression in brackets. So then when we simplify the numerator, the 4s will cancel out, and we're just left with an h. And now notice how we can cancel out the h's, and we're just left with a 1 in the numerator. And now we can plug in 0 for h. So when we plug in 0 for h, this would be the square root of 4, which would be 2, and then 2 plus 2 is 4. So our final answer would be 1 over 4. So that there is the slope of the tangent for this function at an x value of 2. It's the slope of that red line. And now let's do it a different way. The second way we're going to do it is we're going to find the general slope of the tangent for this function at an x value of a, at a general point. So we're going to use the same formula, but instead of putting a specific a value of 2 like we did here, we're just going to keep that uh, a value as itself and get a general formula. So plugging in a plus h for the x value, we would have the square root of a plus h plus 2. Then plugging in the a value for x in the function, we would have the square root of just a plus 2. And this is all over h. Now similarly to how we did it here, to get rid of this h in the denominator, we're going to have to rationalize this numerator. And to rationalize it, we have to multiply it by the conjugate of the numerator, which would just be the same terms on the ends, except the sign in the middle changes. And then the conjugate we also have to put in the denominator. So it's like we're taking this expression, multiplying it by 1. So multiplying the numerator, the two term uh, expression by its conjugate, we would just multiply the ends by each other. So the square root of a plus h plus 2 multiplied by itself would just give us a plus h plus 2. 
and then negative the square root of a plus 2 times the square root of a plus 2, which is give us minus a plus 2 in brackets. And then these two expressions here will keep separate. So the h is a separate expression, and then the square root of a plus h plus 2 plus the square root of a plus 2 is a separate expression as well in the denominator. And now when you simplify the numerator, the a's will cancel out and the 2's will cancel out, you're just left with an h. And now notice how the h's cancel out here as well, and you're just left with a 1. And now since the h's cancel out, we could plug in 0 for h, so this h here would go to 0. And we'd be left with 1 over the square root of a plus 2 plus the square root of a plus 2. But those are like terms, so we can simplify that to 1 over 2 the square root of a plus 2 because in front of these square roots is like a 1 and because the radicals are like terms we can just add those coefficients and that would be 2. So this here represents the general formula for the slope of the tangent at an x value of a at any x value a for this function the square root of x plus 2. But in the question we want it at a specific x value of 2 so we would plug in a uh, we would plug in 2 for a in this formula and then we would get a slope of 1 over 4 which is the same answer that we got here. So two different ways of doing it. Here we plugged in that specific a value of 2 right away in the difference quotient uh, formula solved it, got the slope right away. Here first we found the general slope formula and then we plugged in our a value of 2 and still got the same slope of 1 over 4. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.